Hello everyone and welcome back to RP2000 development for Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 with Realism Overhaul. Just as a reminder, RP2000 is meant to be a career mode that makes as few changes as possible to the stock formula so that it'll be as easy as possible for people to transition from stock to Realism Overhaul while playing career mode. Uh, people have asked when it's going to be done. Well, uh, well, it'll be done when it's done. Where we are right now is I'm still pricing parts. So I've put parts in a tech tree for a lot of mods, not all the mods necessarily that I want to include. And I'm working on pricing the parts. I've got equations to figure out exactly what prices to give them. And I'm just working my way through the very long list. And then I have to work on contracts and stuff. But once the uh, parts are priced, maybe I'll give a sort of alpha release kind of thing. Uh, so that people can test it out and see how well it's balanced and everything. Anyway, so this is just initial testing and let's go back to the original audio from the live streams. Okay, so what do we need need on this? Antenna, antenna can generate power and the mystery goo unit. This one doesn't need a mystery goo unit. But we might as well put one on so we can move it into that orbit. Or maybe we could have two satellites. Maybe we should just have two satellites. So that we get better comm coverage. These things have ridiculous comm range anyway. But they're direct. They're not relays. Do we even have a relay comm thing? Yes, we have this. No, this is direct. I, isn't, isn't it supposed to be relay? There's nothing. Yeah, I thought... But stock-wise, this was a relay. Oh, well, did Raider Nick make this into a... See, that, that company, I have no idea what that would go into, so it's just in this part here. Well, this, oh, this is the antenna. It is a relay. Okay, well, we'll put... We'll, we'll use Raider Nick's Strela probe then. But, really, hopefully we have some other dish. Note to self. Make calm dishes. <laughs> well, they didn't say we have to put a relay satellite. I just wanted to. That's not a requirement for the contract. The lower satellite won't be very useful. This is actually pretty expensive. Let's just find... This is cheap. The Explorer 1 probe is cheap. Let's go with that. The lower one won't be that good for comms. The higher one is better for comms. Uh, so this one is the lower one. It doesn't even need a goo. It just needs antenna, which this will have technically, and can generate power. Let's just go with uh, one of these. Or a few of these. So these should be primed to hydrazine, yeah. We can get up to tech level 2. Yep, straight hydrazine. Okay, so that gives us actually way too much delta V. I mean, we need to put solar panels though. Um, and we haven't filled up this nose cone either. Yeah, we don't want a 15 minute burn time with that low thrust weight ratio. That's unnecessary. That's pretty nice. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Hmm, this might be too nice. One kill Newton thrusters and the Explorer core, though. It's a nice combination. Oh, I don't want that. All we have is the fastest solar panel. Okay, make solar panels. <laughs> I'll need to make some solar panels. No, I wanted to change the bottom in. We should probably have some of these thrusters at the bottom, too. We're still fairly low tech, so yeah, I think we might not have procedural fairings. We have got the fairing side, just not the... Well, there's this launch fairing base. Oh, I think... Yeah, it's just like that. It doesn't like the tweak scale. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll skip that for now. 40 kilonewton methane engine. Or a lower tech 30 kilonewton... Carolox engine. No, that's a monomethylhydrazine engine. Eh, maybe we'll go with that one. Ooh, I think we need a bigger tank. Oh, maybe we'll go with that fairing and this seems to need a wider thing anyway. It's pressure fed though. But yeah, it's useless on the ground. Hmm. Maybe we should put this inside the fairing. <laughs> this is weird. 
That's too much thrust to weight ratio. This calls for an unnecessary SRB. What if... We actually tuck that in there and put the scout fairings around it. Well, those are pretty big fairings. I could probably make it bigger, but... Oh, alright, let's make it bigger. We could try this one. We might want this one later anyway. So there's a kerosene oxygen engine, about 200 kilonewton-ish. Oh look, it's too big again. <laughs> At least I forced procedural parts to give me the conical ones now. We'll tuck this in and reduce utilization. And we actually don't want MHM on 3 anymore, we want the kerosene oxygen. I'll just keep that underdone because I think we have more than enough. Well, we might as well improve its capabilities for other things. That's too high a thrust weight ratio anyway. Uh oh, we've got too many parts. Yeah, I haven't uploaded it yet, so you, you don't re-download it yet. Hmm, this part limit is complicated. Maybe we don't strictly need the little thrusters at the bottom of this. Okay, so launching from Kuru. Parallel up, SAS on. Let's see, ignition. Oh, it's just a shift down thing for this one, so. I'll do it later. It's too complicated right now. We have much thrust to weight ratio there. Uh, let's just get rid of all the things. Let's leave ourselves some time for the next bit. Okay, ignition. Okay, separation. Guess we can just... That plume is also a little bit high. We are recharging. Does it read it as a thing that has antenna can generate power? Scenes for that one, yeah. Okay. So we just need to get to that orbit. You're gonna have to do a plane change, so we might as well get as high as we need to. So what was it? Oh, actually 470. That, that's too much. And our RCS thrusters don't go that way. Okay, well let's test whether the RCS thrusters work at all. Okay. Well. Correcting your inclination by five degrees at this altitude is not fun, but that's why I packed a lot of Delta V for it. How's the comm line? Well, we got all sorts of comm lines. I don't know how far off they will accept the inclination. Whoops. Oh, 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 no, stop. Oh, okay, it's accepted it. It's moving along. I mean, part of the problem is a lot of the parts are, like, not generic parts, so. Okay, well, let's just leave this be for now. Maybe we'll do a moon one. Now that we've got these. We've got uh, position satellite in a specific orbit around the moon. We could probably get some science out of that to unlock stuff. This one's too complicated. Rendezvous between two vessels and return to... Maybe we should do the return bit. Hmm. Now it looks like something that's meant to be recovered. Ooh, but then those things... Uh, they're not quite clipping, actually. Okay. We'll have to be careful about orientation, though. Oop, that's too small. That is it's the ultimate GTRN satellite, yes. I need to make satellite. Let me make a note of that. 
I need to make some custom satellite buses. Satellite buses. For, uh... For our P2000. Because otherwise... You're gonna have nothing without the real uh, without Raider Nix mods. Not reason. <laughs> nothing without Raider Nix mods. So that is not ideal. There's still 100 Newton thrusters. They're just engine version, which means that they'll give a delta V reading, right? Right. Apparently not. Oh, feed pressure too low. What? There's a high pressure tank. Hold on. Oh, it's MMH and Mon 3. There we go. That's too long a burn time, but we can underutilize. We just need enough to get back from the moon. Oh, we need parachute too. Shoot. We need to be able to edit the real shoots. And the fact that we can't access the action group menu does not make that easy. Well, that'll be enough Delta V to return. Right. So that will come back. Now we have to get it over there. Doesn't look too bad. But uh, we'll have that as a pure transfer stage. Maybe finishing orbit and transfer. But we have to watch out for the part count. We have a 30 minute, uh, 30 minute, 30 part limit. So that's not good. Can we fit four of those? I made these sort of obnoxious with the gas generator exhaust though. Oh, we're over part limit by three. We may need a bigger engine. Well, what about the S3 again? That's... Why do they have to put that ring? It worked, though. How much would it take for... Oh, well, there's a D version. That doesn't do enough. <laughs> uh, this thrust, this improvement to thrust. Let's try the lithium tanks. They're not that much more expensive. Ah, uh, 450,000 to get more than 30 parts. Jeez. We we need to remove the... We have four bloody thrusters on top. We need just more powerful, fewer thrusters, I think. But at least we can get down to two. These are one kilonewton thrusters. Yeah, we need... Uh, we could remove these and use the RCS blocks instead. That'll cut down. Well, now it's gonna look really stout. How many parts? We've got three parts to work with other than this. Hmm. Can we put a single booster on the side? <laughs> Interesting proposition we've got here. Is it better be rotated this way or 90 degrees off? That looks better. But we need to actually line up with the moon and it's wiggling. Well, it's steady now, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, but without the launch clamps, we've got boil off. Well, we'll time warp, recover, and then bring it out again and hope it doesn't topple. We better try it before it all boils off, so... Um, I guess we'll go with this one. How does it even write itself? I don't even know how how it did that, but okay. Launch. Well, ignition. And when you're ready, go ahead and go up. <laughs> We've got a bit of a power slide thing going. Oh, booster set. And it went poof! It went poof. I should have put more science, but we didn't have enough part count. We're just doing all the thrust weight ratio g-forces stuff. 
I guess we might as well lose the main fairing. Ooh, that doesn't separate really well, does it? Okay, Loy solar panels. Well, it'll have to be in a sort of loose orbit around the moon. And shut down. Okay, well, that worked. Somewhere around there will be good. Uh, will we have comms when we need to do the burn is the question. I think we'll be over Australia. There's a comm station right there. So, I think so. Okay, there we go. 100 kilometers is not bad. We can't really switch the control point on these probes. So, we have the engines on this side, obviously, so... Prograde. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see how much it'll take to leave. The problem is leaving happens over here, so... Hopefully it reads that we did get properly into orbit and everything. It doesn't really show us a progress thing on it. And go. Oh, they're a little bit imbalanced. Uh-oh. Uh, we're deviating. Oh, we're, I have to point the other way. Shoot. Um, retrograde. We may have done a bad thing. I forgot we were backwards. Uh oh. Oh no. We may have failed. Uh, the thrusters are imbalanced. Close, but no cigar. Maybe it'd be easier to do the rendezvous thing. Is there another vessel? We don't really have another vessel. Oh wait, there's that one. That's landed though. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have anything else around the moon to rendezvous with. We don't have a thermometer to get into that orbit. Okay, well this is disappointing. So instead of being a return probe, we're going to make this a science probe. And that'll let us fulfill the contract that asks for a particular satellite around the moon with a thermometer. So that we can do. Okay. That takes up a bunch of our part count though. And maybe we'll leave off the Geiger counter. Looks awkward anyway. But we're still one part over. Maybe we can do without the booster this time. Uh, no, we've got 30 parts. That's the end. We have to leave it be. Schmelda 2. We've got a thermometer, we need to get into that particular orbit. Let's see. Okay, ignition. And launch. Okay. You can just throttle down, separation. Get rid of that fairing. And go ahead and deploy the panels. Okay, and we can wait a little bit as we did last time. The stage is just too vigorous. Probe camera, remote crew report. Oh gosh, that doesn't do anything. 
What good is that? Well, the irradiate mystery goo, but if we do it here, it won't work around the moon. What does this experiment mean? I don't know what it's doing. Well, it's a little bit off. We probably correct that when we get there. Uh-oh. Well, for heaven's sakes, game. The soul panels are broken? Hibernate in Warf Auto. This is a chance that we'll have enough power anyway. But... I don't know if we can transmit the, uh, transmit the science. They say don't use confetti fairings. But then look at what the clamshell fairings do. Recovery only on the barometer. Same for the thermometer. Probe camera. It can do this resource thing. But I don't know what the remote crew report... I guess you have to have crew around to make that happen. I don't even know how that works. Resource. Uh, so, would it be able to find ore? Oh, methane even. Toggle overlay. But, no. That seems like it's not showing an overlay. I think that camera does nothing. So we've got a whole lot of science parts that don't do anything. I need to invent new science parts. New science parts. <laughs> Sick of this. How about this mystery goo? Well, at least that has something. But that'll be the end of it. At least it doesn't take that much electric charge. But maybe we can get the contract fulfilled at least. And we've got so much Delta V with the little anti-engine equivalent that maybe we can do a rendezvous too. Except the only thing we have is on the surface. Hmm. That bears thinking about. It does seem a little bit imbalanced somehow, because it's still puffing the RCS, but it's not as bad as it was before. When you say maintain stability, do you mean with or without persistent rotation game? Okay, well, it doesn't care about persistent rotation. So, we have technically enough Delta V to land this, but it sure as heck was not designed to land. But that might be the best way to get some new science. I think this crater right here looks tempting. It's in daylight. Not that that matters because our solar panels are broken, but we've, we'll have communication back. So let's try that. Our engine does not throttle. Our RCS is anything but powerful. It does, at least the main engine has infinite, igni infinite ignitions, so... This time we're planning on landing, that's a novelty. I guess we might as well... Do we have landing guys? Okay, we've unlocked that. Target on map. Major craters, it says. Suicide burn countdown. Hmm. Okay, well, let's coast for a bit. This is not designed to land here.
No. Ow. Flop. Well, the soap panels are broken anyway. If only we had those airbags. Oh, this is an interesting pose. I should have waited till the ground to do that experiment. Run analysis. Oh, resource analysis performed for the major craters, huh? Log temperature. Okay, we got some science to transmit. Something at least. How much? Okay. Well, the soul panels are broken already by the fairing, so it's okay. Crew report. It says crew report instead of probe report. Hmm. Yeah, we needed airbags like a lunar probe. Okay, we got some science. I think that's all we can do here right now. So, we wanted, most of all, to have a relay satellite. And the only thing that gives us that... Whoa, that's too expensive. Uh, we might have to make those cheaper. Make Strela cheaper. Yep, I can't decide right now because I think I'm gonna be changing the pricing on some of the parts. <laughs> 